sometimes I feel that we need to be reading the parasha our week, kititze, our Shabbat, kititze, um, with the eyes of a mystic. Because otherwise, it's so hard to enter into a parasha that deals with going out to war, being tempted, I don't know if tempted, or seeing a beautiful woman, bringing her back to your home. So I'm going to invite you to join me and with, to read this parasha with the eyes of the mystic. And then what we're talking about is an internal process. The fact that the Torah begins with, with a battle that's not a communal battle. It should, it should say, when you go out to war on your enemies, and yet each one of us, when we go out to war on our enemy, we're in the time of the year that people are going through this ongoing reflective process. And I have a lot to say about what that looks like and where compassion comes into this process. And whether it's a war, whether it's a battle, how far, to what extent, those are also questions that we need to be asking ourselves. Is it about a war on what has been? Is it about the future, what's ahead of us? I seriously believe that there's a way in which when thinking about Shuvah, it's not about regret of the past, it's actually about connecting to the promise of the future. And here in Al Palasha, we're given guidelines how to go about that. We see that moment in our life, a memory perhaps, of somewhere that we were, somewhere that we want to be again. And what is it going to take for us to get back to that moment of purity, of holiness, of connection, of alignment, of life? What does it mean to bring back that divine spark into our homes? And then I want to say there's a moment in which it's true. It's true. Maybe, maybe it could have been different. Maybe it could have been other. So let's strip those layers, the garment, and strip the layers, and be able to focus on where we were in the moment that we made those decisions, and where are we now, and what does that look like? And how do we overcome this internal battle? Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about our internal battles and each one of us, unique and individual. I want to offer as well, not only the question of what they are, what are those battles, take a moment to look at them, to ask ourselves, but also I feel that the Torah gives us from this week and until the holidays, a journey by virtue of the names of the Parashiyot, we go through when you go out, what you bring home. Then you have to stand with it for a moment. Then you have to walk with it. If you can do that, you can go out, bring it home, stand with it, walk with it. Then you'll come to Ha'azinu. Then you can listen. And when you can go through that process, we conclude with We conclude with being able to manifest in the world as a blessing. And the journey and the promise begin in our parasha, We go out to the war. God promises us that God will give us what we need, the assistance and the help that we need to overcome this battle. We'll be able to bring that part of ourselves that got lost through the year, bring her back home and manifest her in the world with blessing. I bless us all for that journey. I bless us to walk together in that journey. And I wish us all a shabbat shalom. Shabbat